Hi, my name is Mikko Kontto. I work for Kone for traffic analysis. We studied interaction with qualgiving devices and our results show how this interaction affects the performance of lift groups with destination control system. Current practice in lift traffic design does not consider call giving devices at all. Aim of our study was to provide a more realistic design procedure for destination control. Destina destination control systems are common in modern offices. Let's now take a closer look at the passenger journey in buildings with destination control. Passenger lift journey begins already before the lift lobby, starting from the call giving device where Desired destination is input and system response with certain lift. After finding a way to allocate a lift, passenger waits in front of the lift until serving lift arrives and passenger can board on for his destination. When looking at the passenger journey definition with destination control system in more detail, we can identify how waiting time is actually divided in the subcomponents as follows. Queuing time starts when passenger joins a call giving device queue until passenger arrives to call giving device. Interaction time starts from the call giving device until passenger receives serving lift. After which walking time is until passenger stands in front of allocated lift. Standing time starts when passenger arrives in front of the lift until serving lift begins to open its doors at boarding floor. Current practice in traffic design assumes queuing, interaction and walking time to be zero, which makes waiting time equal to standing time. When interaction time is taken into consideration, queuing can be modeled theoretically. Queues for the call giving devices start to saturate when utilization exceeds 80%. This can be seen from the graph where queuing time in seconds is shown as function to utilization factor for three different device counts. As seen from the graph, waiting times start to grow exponentially after 80% utilization. Handling capacity depends on number of devices and interaction time, as can be seen from this formula, where 0.8 represents 80% utilization. Connect Building Traffic Simulator enables modeling of all vertical transportation devices in the building including call giving devices and studying their effects to the service level. We studied different device interaction times and different walking distances from the lifts. Both arrangements were studied with simulation of a simple building with 14 floors, 5 lifts, 2.5 meters per, meters per second speed and 20 person passenger capacity. When following current practices, group can achieve up peak handling capacity of 14% of population per 5 minutes, which equals 180 persons per 5 minutes. First, effect of passenger interaction with call giving devices to passenger waiting time was studied with three call giving devices. Two interaction times was, were assumed, zero second interaction time where call giving devices reach infinite handling capacity as per current practice and 5 second interaction time which gives 150 persons per 5 minute handling capacity. 
We simulated passenger demand of 180 persons per 5 minute, which is greater than call giving device handling capacity of 150 persons with 5 second interaction time. In graph, average waiting time for different interaction times can be are shown. Zero second interaction time reaches average waiting time of 29 seconds. With 5 second interaction time, waiting time is 7 times longer, 200 seconds, which would indicate that lift group cannot handle the traffic and is saturated. When we dive deeper to the waiting time, we notice that with 0 second interaction time, average waiting time consists standing time. But with 5 second interaction time, 167 seconds is actually queuing for the call giving devices. Short period is for interaction with the de call giving device. And standing time in the lobby remains the same. Similarly, we studied effect of walking distances between call giving devices and lifts. With same 180 persons per 5 minute passenger demand, 6 call giving devices and by assuming 0 second interaction time. Walking distances were increased up to 60 meters with assumption of 1 meters per second for walking speed. Average waiting time for different Walking distances are shown. By looking, only waiting time results could indicate that waiting times increase past 30 seconds already when distance to the lifts is increased to 5 meters. However, when we look at the waiting times in more detail, we can see that standing time in the lobby remains stable all the way up to 20 meters distance, only increasing the walking time. When we are having more than 20 meters walking distance, also the standing time in the lobby start to increase. In simulation, handling capacity limit can be studied through average number of passengers in car, or true round trip time. Traditionally, handling capacity is defined as 80% of passengers, which in this case equals 16 persons, shown here. Up to 20 meters, both average number of passengers in car and round trip time stays stable, but for longer walking distances, both start to increase which indicates reduced handling capacity and explains increased waiting times seen in previous slides. To get concrete evidence of interaction times, we studied call frequency during morning peak period from fleet monitoring system data. Studied building has four gates with integrated call giving for home floor, leading to lobby of 8 lifts. Location of devices has also impact to the usage. Main entrance is located at the right, which causes more use for gate 1 in the morning. 37% of the calls are given through gate 1, compared to gate number 4, where only 16% of all calls are given. This graph shows call giving interval, which is time between two calls at one gate. In y axis, we have call giving interval in seconds, and in x axis, we have time of the day. Five seconds is highlighted here. Call intervals is mostly concentrated for between three to five seconds. When looking at call giving interval distribution per gate during same period, 
where in y-axis we have percentages of calls given through specific gate and in x-axis we have call giving intervals. Most calls were given between 3 to 5 seconds. Gate interaction time of 3 seconds can be used when estimating amount of needed call giving devices. As a conclusion, buildings with destination control system could be evaluated in three stages. When walking distance between call giving devices and lifts are less than 20 meters, current approach provide accurate results. For longer distances, effects should be studied more truly. Number of call giving devices should be selected with realistic interaction times, considering saturation of the devices and taking into account locations of the devices, to enable full performance from the lift group. Lift group performance can be evaluated with real-time simulator for the real lifts, but all parameters should be set according to the design. Thank you.